So, what do you think? Do you like it? This is a kind of like nice kind of mix of a little bit of gold, a little bit of colour. And I feel like it's a really nice glam look. But at the same time, you've got that nice colour in there without it looking like it's like, whoa, there's just so many colours. Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel, which is all about educational beauty. Today's video is a glam eyeshadow look, which I think you're gonna love because you guys have been asking me so much in the comments for colorful eye looks. So here it is. So enjoy, I think you're gonna really, really love this look. Now, before we head into the video, if you do like this video, please do give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell button so that you never miss any of my future videos. Don't forget, you can catch me over on Instagram too. I love seeing you guys over there because it's a lot more interactive and we can say hi to one another. And I feel like I'm actually talking to you guys. But anyway, let's jump straight into the video. So let's get started. I have everything on my face other than my eye makeup. I'm gonna be using a Pat McGrath palette and I am really excited about this look because you guys have been asking for a colorful look. So I thought, why not? And let's make it glam. I'm using the shade Purple Rain and I'm actually using my Anastasia brush. It just comes in the Anastasia palettes. It's like, it's double-ended and I use the flat part. So all I'm doing is pressing the brush into the eyeshadow palette. And now what I'm gonna do is just go in to my eye area, my lid, and I'm just gonna press it on. Now, because my base is already done, I wanna really be careful and make sure I don't drop any of this. So I'm making sure there's no, kind of, there's not extra product on this. You see how I've just pat it in there and I've made sure that it goes from the inner corner of my lash line and I've taken it up into the socket, but just a very small amount. Like I haven't gone over the socket. And I'm just gonna keep that there. And now I'm gonna do the same on this part of my eye. Now I've just kind of like left a gap because I want to add a really nice kind of gold shimmer there. I'm going to take this up into my socket area there. There you go. Obviously a bit too harsh, so we're going to soften that up. This is my 228 brush from Zoeva and I'm just going to go into that purple and I'm now going to go into my socket area. So I've just got a very small amount of the color on the brush because whatever's already on my eyelid is also going to be spread out. That's why I don't go in with a lot of color when going into the socket. I'm just going back and forth and this is going to slowly kind of buff out those hard edges. So ultimately, if you make sure that you press first, apply your eyeshadow, and then you go in with a different brush with either no product on there or very little and use that to blend, that's gonna make sure that your kind of like blending doesn't go, you know, super crazy. So I'm just making sure there are no hard edges. There you go, that's a lot softer now for me and I feel like, you know, that looks a bit better now. Just dragging this upwards and outwards. I'm gonna go in with my 220 brush from Zoeva, go into that purple and I'm gonna just go right into my lower lash line. Now I'm gonna go into gold nectar and I'm actually going in with my finger and I'm gonna now apply this to that middle section there. Now, I don't want it to be like an obvious, oh, you know, she's got a bit of gold in the middle of the eye. eye. So I wanna actually blend it into the purple so it has that very slight kind of like gold, but kind of, per it's, everything's kind of like mixed into one because I don't want the shimmer and the matte to look so disconnected. So I've applied that gold, which by the way, how amazing is the pigment for this eyeshadow palette? It's just insane. You can use any brush. I'm gonna use the Charlotte Tilbury Smudger brush. There's nothing on this brush. I'm now gonna just kind of like drag this into the purple. Now 
And what it's actually doing is that gold, it's like gold dust, it's just like sprinkling, it's like spreading over the purple, so the purple doesn't look like a block kind of colour. Everything looks a bit more kind of like together. I'm gonna go into that gold with this same brush and I'm gonna go just on the underside here of my lower lash line, kind of into the inner corner and bring it onto the under the lower lash line a little bit. Now I'm just, I've taken off the excess off the brush onto a tissue. And now I'm just spreading that out. Not too much, I still want it to stay kind of like in the, those areas to be the focal point, to be the focal point, <laughs> those areas to be the focal point, that area to be the focal point, but I've just kind of like, just kind of blended the edges. There you go, I'm happy with that. Okay, so I absolutely love that. You can kind of like go in with a little bit more gold on the middle if you want to, you know, if you really want to just kind of give it more depth. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Let's go on to the other side. Gonna do the same thing now. This color is so nice. And honestly, when I'm doing this, I'm really pressing it. I'm not dragging it side to side. Let's take this up into the socket like we did before. I'm gonna go in with that other brush just to soften the edges now. Such a nice color. I didn't actually know what color I was gonna use today. This is not pre-planned. Only that I knew I was gonna do like a colorful eye color. Colorful eye color? Sometimes like my words just do not make sense. But I, was, I knew I was gonna do like a colorful look because you guys have been, I had quite a few of you mentioned on my which video, you absolutely loved my brown nudish eye makeup look. You loved it. And I thought initially, I thought oh, this is a bit of a basic look, but then I thought I'm sure people wanna like know how to actually create this look. And you did, and you loved it. And you gave me so much support and it just, some of your comments made me literally tear up because they're like, you know, you, you, obviously you know the channel means something to you and it really does help and it makes me so happy especially when you were like we love hearing you talk <laughs> i was like okay that's great thank you <laughs> because you know you get the odd person who clearly just wants to watch someone putting makeup on and not understand how to do it we're going to go into that purple again take this on the lower lash line Guys, what are you guys watching on Netflix lately? I'm looking for a really good series. I only really watch TV and like, you know, like when I'm trying to switch off. I don't know what to watch. I want something gripping, but also not something that's gonna scare me because I don't like watching certain documentaries at night at night because it keeps me up. I start, think, I start overthinking about that, what happened in it and it stresses me out. It's such an easy eye look, isn't this? Guys, let's be honest. This is actually very easy. And if you guys do it, Please let me know because you could use any color. You don't even have to use, like go all out with this purple. You could use like an emerald green. That's a good one actually. Maybe one day I'll do an emerald green eye look. I used to wear emerald green smoky eyes all the time. I used to love it. So I just keep kind of topping it up until I feel like it matches the other side. Okay, let's put some mascara on. I'm gonna use my Fenty Full Frontal and I'm gonna be wearing lashes, so not too fussed about which mascara I use. Okay, gonna get my lashes using the Nina lashes and I've just snipped them, snipped them, snipped them at the end. And you know, so it's like not a full lash, it's kind of like three quarters. And I'm just gonna apply some glue. While the glue is drying on the lashes, I'm, I'm a bit of a multitask, I've got my lashes in here and this hand, and then I've got my liner here. I am just gonna apply a very, very small amount of the liner on the inner kind of like part of my lash line, just there, because I don't want like an eyeliner look, but I do need to fill in that gap so that when my lash is on, you can't see a gap there. Okay, let's go in with the lashes. Can you see how they're like more towards the end? So it's not like a full, like full lash. I really just wanted that lift at the end. Okay, let's let that dry. 
Okay, let's go in with a little bit of mascara on my lower lashes. Just kind of like finishing touches. So, what do you think? Do you like it? This is a kind of like nice kind of mix of a little bit of gold, a little bit of colour. And I feel like it's a really nice glam look. But at the same time, you've got that nice colour in there without it looking like it's like, whoa, there's just so many colours. I personally prefer to stick to two colours maximum. Three for me is just not my style. And I don't think I've ever kind of like had a client ask me for that many colours. Well, most of the time they just say to me, I'm gonna leave it in your hands, do whatever you feel is gonna look great on me, and that's it. But I've never had anyone specifically ask for that, and nor would I ever, I don't think, do that, unless it's more editorial. If it's a shoot or something like that, then I would do it. But generally, day to day, I feel like, you know, it's not a no, it's not like I'm saying that you can't, you know, I always say that there are no walls with makeup, but, it's just not my style. So I wanted to show you my style, my preference of a colorful eye look and make it all glam. And yeah, I hope you've enjoyed it. You can switch around the colors a little bit. So I would always stick to that kind of like gold or coppery bronzy shimmer in the middle or something which is a lighter shade in comparison to the outer edges. So as long as the outer edges, the main color is slightly bolder or darker, than or more vibrant than that middle shade it will help to kind of like pop you know so yeah i actually really love this look like sometimes i do this stuff and then i'm like why am i not going out anywhere why do i not have somewhere to go right now so i actually really love this it looks really nice and i think most of the time when i am going out somewhere i'm like let me just keep this in full so <laughs> Yeah, maybe I shouldn't. But yeah, I really do hope you've enjoyed this colourful glam eyeshadow tutorial. I hope you've enjoyed this video and I hope you've really loved the finished look because I love it. Now, if you have any questions, let me know in the comments box below. As always, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell button so that you never miss any of my future videos. Until the next video, take care and I'll see you soon.